jumping and the man in my brother's car is it. That's creepy looking. I got my dog with his own house. ago in January of 2019. My parents went out to a party. They told me they wouldn't be back until at least 3 a.m. in the morning because the party was supposed to start at 8 p.m. Right. Yeah. And the party I mean, was going to be in New Jersey. Normal. Like, we live in I'm Connecticut, with... so oh, it takes not, a while to get there and back. Jersey. And they told me to watch my 10 year old brother and expected me to be responsible like, because my I'm 15 sisters, years old. Like, they like, if my mom left, and my dad leave, we watched movies all night. Yeah, we just watched movies and playing our phones. It was around 11 30, and we just finished watching Infinity War. I told my brother to brush his teeth and go to bed. I stayed up later than him to watch the movie Logan. The movie ended and it was around 2 in the morning. I was getting ready for Kinda bed normal. when my brother came down the stairs. I asked him what he was still doing up, and he said the boogeyman was in his closet and wanted to touch him. Like, I looked that's at a him little in confusion. Joke. My brother isn't the type of kid to pull pranks or joke around. Odd. He wanted me to check it out. I said fine and started saying he probably just heard a house noise. He said he heard a noise coming from his closet, uh -uh, and when he checked creepy. inside, the boogeyman was there and that's said he wanted boogie? to touch him. <laughs> We went inside his That's room. Like the boogeyman I turned like? on the light and we went to the closet door. The boogeyman is ugly. I opened it, and what I saw made me seriously angry. There was a tall, scruffy looking man with long, black, greasy hair. He looked as if he was in his mid 40s and was fairly built. I was, was pissed off when I saw this creep watching my 10 year old brother sleep, and I figured out what my brother meant when he said the boogeyman wanted to touch him. I was so pissed off, I punched his throat. He dropped to the floor, gasping for air, but I stepped on his face as hard as I could at least six times. He was covered in blood and was having trouble breathing. I, mean, I grabbed my brother and ran into the bathroom, locking the door and calling the cops. Then I called my parents. My parents freaked out. In about ten minutes, the cops showed up and searched the bedroom. He wasn't in there. They searched the house. He wasn't anywhere to be found. Oh, I gave them I'm a scared, good description boy. of his appearance, and an and officer even up. stayed at our house until sunrise. A week later, I was informed that the same guy was caught and arrested for raping an 11-year-old boy and murdering his parents. It turns out he had raped multiple children before, and even murdered some of them and their parents. Mm -hmm. He was 47 years old and received a death sentence. My brother never came downstairs to tell me what happened. Then I fear the worst could have happened to him. And I'm extremely That's a good thankful brother right there. that didn't happen. But that's actually very creepy. I don't like, I did not like that one. So we're gonna watch another one. I think it's I don't know what it's called. Okay, this is the next one. And I still can't talk about all my stuff. Molly's here still. See, <laughs> I'm on my bed recording this. So, I don't know what this is called. This looks like a Chinese film. I don't really, probably not gonna understand what they're saying, but it's a horror film. I said horror film. Horror film. So, let's jump right into it. I wonder what they're gonna do. It's kind of, it's kind of odd. They're not, I, I think this is just the, the intro. Better be the intro. Not watching this, it's, this is the whole thing. Cause it does look a little creepy. I will say that. Whoa, ah. Kind of does look kind of weird. All right, let's see. What are they doing? Why are they making the little girl see it? Dumb why are they making the little kids see bad little things? See how creepy that looks? It's kind of creepy looking for a little kids. I mean, she looked like she's five years old, maybe even four. Looks like a chicken. Wait, what? That means someone's watching her. Whenever I see those. Uh-uh, I don't like that. I don't like that sound.
I don't like first person at all. Why they gotta do that? If there's a jump scare, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Is that, is that like her mom and then her dad fighting that bad? First person stuff. What the heck is that? Is that her little toy? That just got me like right oh my gosh y'all that was creepy actually that was actually the first kind of animation that i actually got scared of whoa I'm gonna jump into another one and then that's gonna be the end well marley left on me this time but i still got myself it was okay. april of 2007 and my birthday was approaching mm -hmm. most of my family had already told me this the gifts i would receive like a new wii along with video games for it my grandmother That's didn't weed. tell me anything. That's my weed. No, my like, grandmother had always been like, a strange woman. A big thing. She wasn't very talkative, but I liked to hear the stories she told. They were creepy, but intriguing. She told me she was going to give me a book. She didn't show it to me, nor did she tell me what it was about. Everyone's like, everyone's like... Ugh. Once my birthday rolled around, I was opening gifts from my loved ones. When I got to my grandmother's present... I opened it up and I saw a book with a pentagram carved into its front cover. Nice. I picked it up and thought nothing of it because at Illuminati. the time I didn't know what the shape was it's or like what it meant. As soon as I grabbed it though, everything went pitch black. When I woke up, my family was surrounding me and my mom was scolding my grandmother about giving me the book. My grandmother looked at me, but her eyes were evil looking. Uh, and I, ooh. That night when I went to bed, I was having a pretty good dream. But suddenly, something woke me up. I looked around and saw nothing. Then, suddenly, I saw a shadowy figure in the doorway looking at me. This wasn't a case of sleep paralysis because I was able to move. But that didn't comfort me because that meant it was real life. The figure crept closer and closer uh -huh. to me. When I looked closer at the figure, That's why I, like my I saw grandma. gray hair and crooked teeth. That's when I knew it was my grandmother. I screamed and ran past her, but she grabbed me and tossed me back. I noticed she had something in her hand, but I couldn't tell what it was. That I saw one of my toys bang. that I had gotten a few years ago, picked it up and threw it at her. She fell to the ground and I ran past her telling my that, parents. Uh, I love that. Um, my parents called the police and they got there and arrested her. The thing you she had in her hand was a knife. 
and she was planning on killing me. Your to grandma this day, crazy. I wonder what would have happened if that toy wasn't lying there. You would have been dead. That's what would happen. Already answered your question. Easy quick answer. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't like that. That was kind of a short one. Smash it. Yeah. I don't. I'm speechless. Peace. I hope y'all like my video. And see you next time. Peace.